how are you? How how is oh, life in Atlanta? I'm, I'm fantastic. Um, thank you for having me on and uh, for inviting me to uh, be a part of your platform and like uh, for allowing me a position to like you know share some things with uh, people who uh, may be impacted by it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm delighted to be chatting to you. If it's okay yeah. with you, can we talk about your, your boxing career and then move on to your later career as an actor and as a writer? Absolutely. More creative type of things. Yes. Oh, good, good. First question, uh, we, we've had a couple of chats on Twitter and you give me some brilliant replies, really insightful, analytical, I don't know, insights into the minds of a boxer, the psyche of a boxer. What, what is it that motivates a youngster to get up out of bed in the early hours of the morning, train like a Spartan? And to get into a sport, to climb into a ring where they face injury, possibly death. What, what is it? What's in their mind? Is the hidden demons that's driving them there? Hidden demons and the fact that, like, you know, uh, most boxers, uh, most successful boxers, yeah. you know, uh, they come from a place of deprivation, right? Yeah. Uh, and most boxers, like, you know, no matter what color you are, coach you are, whatever you are, like, you know, um, you come from a place where there's emotional deprivation, more than likely physical abuse, yep. uh, emotional uh, manipulation, and uh, at some point, you know, the uh, the child, uh, the boxer realizes that he doesn't realize. Though I don't think the boxer, as I told you in my uh, one of my emails to you, yep. I don't yep. think the boxer can have a firm understanding of why he fights, though. Because if yeah. if you went to a psychologist, yeah. if Muhammad yeah. Ali goes to a psychologist in 1960 after he won the Rome Olympics, yeah, he says, you know, yeah. right, and like you know, and the psychologist and the psychologist like asks, like you know, why do you want to box? Yeah. And Muhammad, like you know, tells him his 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 story, his story, um, you know, not the uh, not in the you know. Muhammad will begin to tell the psychologist his uh, his PG story. His PG is like, yeah, yeah. like you know the you know, um, guidance is right, 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 right. His juvenile, not, right, that's right. Yeah, you know, you know because like you know, um, like many fighters, Muhammad, like you know, it's it's like you know, it's really it's very rarely spoken about, but like Muhammad had conflict with his father. Yeah, you know, and a lot of boxes have conflicts with dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of female boxers have conflict with mom, but like, you know, that's yeah. that's the case, man. Like, you know, and I don't think like, you know, once again, as a as a young boxer, you can't you can't understand that. Because yeah. if you were to embrace that, you know, you're at an age where you're fragile emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, you know, understood that mom and you know that dad doesn't fucking like you, yeah. That's it's crushing, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know we have to we have to associate why we box with something else because yeah. I'm trying to be fit because yeah. I want to win Golden Gloves because yeah. I want to win eighty five thousand titles as a boxer yeah. like you know that's not the real reason why we box yeah it's not okay. I'm not a psychologist but like you know uh, I'm sure if you had uh, what's the young kid's name from England uh, oh wow Anthony Joshua oh yeah yeah. Yeah. If you you know if he sits down with a psychologist, yeah, he'll he, he'll probably like um he'll like uh, um vomit up some stuff, yeah. vomit up some real stuff. You know, would, they, would it be conscious in them? Would it be subconscious? It would have to be sort of drawn out at a young age. Is it only with time and reflection back that you come to realize this? Oh, absolutely. Like you know, I'm 56 years old. Yeah. Uh, and I, I um. Basically, got a got a sniff of like you know this 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 theory uh, after I left boxing. Yeah. After I got knocked out and was in like you know a ninety six hour coma, uh, compliments of her behind my dear yeah. friend now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he almost killed me. Are you friends with them now? <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And like you know, that's the beautiful you know not to cut you off, man, but like you know, no, sure. That's the beautiful thing about this sport, boxing. Yeah. Boxing is not a sport, yeah. you know. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, an act of survival. Period. Yeah. Right. But you know, when two men, like Herbie Hyde and I, had massive, like you know, we were massive enemies. But like you know, but like you know, that's that's that, that's just business. Yeah. But, yeah. but like you know, I took the business. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
No, was that, was that stage I watched today on YouTube the the, the fight, the scuffle, the pre-fight what scuffle with her, Herbie Hyde and the um, the hotel in London, the Sheraton Hotel yeah. on the roof. Yeah. I think Herbie ended up on his ass. I think it was soaking wet. Oh, that was me. Was, it, was that stage? Did did you plan that? To, you know, as a teaser for the fight, or was it real? Oh, ne- negative. Oh. That was not stage. That was real. Wow. <laughs> now, like you know, here's here's the thing though. Um, I'm glad you asked me about that. Um, uh, when I beat Tommy Morrison, like, I'm a big deal, blah, 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 right? Well, 97 sorry. seconds, was it? Uh, nine, I think 96 sevens. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> then, you know, you know, a second or two, who know, you know. Uh, but, like, it was 97 seconds, yeah. And then that was a good night for me. And uh, a couple months later, I go to London. And uh, <laughs> it's so funny. I was invited to a boxing match. Yeah. Uh, I think I was invited to a... To a maybe co-commentate or on a boxing match or just oh, like yeah. just intended. I don't like it. I forget which one it was. Yeah. But there and after the uh, the boxing match, I'm invited to this uh this this boxing orchard hmm. auction. Yeah. I go there hmm. and like and I'm sitting down in the crowd, blah blah blah. And I get up, you know, slow stretch my legs and I and I see this young <laughs> black kid like leaning against the wall like this. Yeah. You know, and it's her behind. I, oh, I didn't yeah. know who that was. Yeah. Right? And like, you know, I go over to him and I say, hey, brother, what's going on, man? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we start to talk. And Herbie stutters, hmm. right? Yeah. I stutter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, you know, like, you know, I come from like a family of stutterers. Okay. You know, yeah. My father stuttered. Yeah. My mother stutters. Uh, but like, you know, stuttering, like, you know, once again, I'm not a, like, you know, a psychologist, but like, you know, I got like, you know, I did some research and some investigation of like, you know, this, this stuttering thing, where does it come from? Yeah. Well, did you, vast, get, did you get answers for that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The vast majority of stutterers uh, um, uh, experienced um, trauma while they were in the womb. What? Yeah. What? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. Tell me about it. Like, you know, so back to Herbie. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. well, so, that's so, a lot like, to think about there. <laughs> yeah. So he and I, you know, like, you know, we connected, man, and, um, uh, you know, um, you know, I said to him, um, I said uh, something uh, about his stuttering, like, you know, and when I asked him if he stuttered, yeah. you know, I got a look from him, but, like, you know, it wasn't, like, one of these defensive, like, you know, hey, man, like, you know, yeah. you called me out. No, no, man, like, you know, I'm just, like, I'm just trying to identify it with you, yeah. you know? yeah. And I said, like, I stutter too, man. Like, you know, I like him, and, you know, mm. it's not a big deal, man. Like, you know, it's, 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 as long as we can communicate, yeah. we can talk to people, period. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then um, I go back to England. Like, you know, we had a nice chat. Mm. And he said he was like, he told me he was a fighter, blah, blah, blah. And we head back to England. Yeah. And uh, my manager at the time, Stan Hoffman, mm. said, Michael, we're going to be fighting the Herbie Hyde. Yeah. Okay. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Okay. Yeah. Um, like, you know, let me see a picture of him. Yeah. And he showed me some footage of her behind, like, you know, like, you know, uh, on a VHS, uh, on a VHF, a, a VH, whatever tape. Yeah, VHS. You know, yeah. Right, right. VHS, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we saw some footage. I'm like, holy shit, that's the. <laughs> I'm like, did they set me up or what? But like, like, he's a sweet guy, man. Like, you know, yeah. once again, like, you know, do the, like, you know, boxing, you know, and I'm sure, like, you know, and I'm sure Herbie Hyde, uh, life prior to boxing, yeah, wasn't all that nice, yeah, which is why he got into boxing in the first place. Okay, to get rid of that aggression, do you think inside? I'm sorry, is it to deal with that aggression that's inside? Exactly. It's to deal with the aggression inside without going to jail. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because like you know, a lot of like you know, once again, a lot of boxes uh, come from abusive uh, homes and mm. you know uh, that place of of darkness that like you know society wants to sleep under the goddamn rug. Mm. You know, but like you know, a vast majority of you know humanity has been abused yeah you know like you know like you know, you know if you take into account like you know um like now there's like you know, a child being like you know punched in the mouth by his father yeah. or his mother yeah somewhere yeah you know 
and and that's something like you know as as a society like we don't deal with hmm. you know we put a band-aid on that yeah you know and like you know, and blame the victim yeah you know i remember like you know, in jamaica like you know like uh my mom was like um I came over there, I was born in London, yeah. and I came over there when I was like, uh, ooh, like five and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember like, you know, like, you know, like acting up, but like, you know, not understanding why the hell I was like, you know, so like uh, anxiety, anxiety ridden and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, I remember like, you know, you know, <laughs> my parents would like call me like bad. Bad, yeah. Bad, right, right. I'm, and I'm like, so like, I'm so at, at, what, at what age, Michael? This is this is like five, six, seven. Yeah, a bad person. It's five, a five year old bad. Exactly right. It's yeah. so like you know, you know. Once again, I get where they were coming from. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, right, right, right. You know, um, I empathize with them. Blah blah blah. But like, you know, like I vowed never to fucking treat my son like they treated me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. part of the French. You know, because yeah. I'm very yeah. passionate about, like, you know, mm -hmm. about those those kind of subjects, man. And, um, you mm -hmm. know, but um, ultimately, like, you know, ultimately, I had the uh, I had the freedom of travel. Um, the most important thing boxing gave me yeah. was travel and culture. Yeah. Travel broadens the, the mind. Absolutely. Bam. Exactly. You know, when you're a member of the USA boxing team, man, and... Uh, you know, you're traveling to Russia. I'm like 22 years old. I'm like 19 or 22 years old traveling yeah. to Russia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was spectacular, man. I couldn't believe. I remember the first. I remember the first. <laughs> okay, I'm about to get you know over the top here. Okay. First afternoon. Uh, the first no, the first morning. This is after we arrived in Russia. We were staying at the biggest hotel in the world at the time. Yeah. It was called yeah. the Hotel Rosoya. Are you familiar yeah. with it? No, no. Moscow is this? Uh, Moscow, 1986. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, so uh, we like, you know, we're, we're you know, we're, we're, we're supposed to get up at like 5 p.m., 4.30 p uh, a.m. rather, yeah. to yeah. go jogging, jogging yeah. as a team. Yeah. So like, you know, I get up, man, and like, you know, there's this massive, like, you know, like, collection of soldiers outside my window across the street yeah like, holy shit what is that yeah what did i do <laughs> mr curious i go it's it's 4 30 it's 5 o'clock in the morning yeah yeah it's almost like it's like pre-dawn so yeah. it's dark right yeah. so i walk across the damn street yeah don't speak a word of russian yeah <laughs> and I, it's like these guys like you know like you know i mean like you know does anyone speak russian here <laughs> and um, and uh, luckily there was uh, we had a um, we had a uh, uh, a translator a yeah. Russian translator okay and I don't know how he saw me sneak out the hotel but he came over to me like it says Michael like what's the problem I'm, I'm like you know I'm like you know I'm I'm fascinated like you know, by what's going on here what's going on <laughs> and, and they say that this is the changing of Lenin's tomb huh? I'm like yeah. holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. They're changing, like you know, did they have like the soldiers? Yeah, yeah. Or they were like uh they were like four soldiers yeah. in a row, and there were two so there were four soldiers in a row marching, and yeah. there were two yeah. soldiers holding the uh the coffin yeah. of Vladimir yeah. Lenin. Yeah, I'm like, and and you know, thankfully, like you know, uh although I was a high school dropout, yeah, history was my favorite subject. Okay, so I was yeah. like, so I knew who Lenin was. I'm like, holy yeah. shit, this this is where Vladimir Levin is. Yeah, yeah. He's buried here. Yeah. And he changes tomb like you know, they they do a military uh esque um uh changing of his tomb every morning. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. Do like that. Yeah. I've, I've heard the changes of the guard, you know, at London Palace, you know, with the Queen. Yeah, there we go, things. exactly. Yes. Similar, okay. yeah, yeah. There we go. Exactly. Yes. Military parade. Yeah. That's it. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. right. I, mean, I, I was I was uh, I was uh I was um not starstruck, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I was really intrigued, man. Yeah. How how else would an American teenager be able to go and see these type of things, apart from your success in the sport? Well, uh, that's a good question. Apart from having a really, really well healed mother and father, mm -hmm. which yeah. I have, yeah, 
you know, yeah. we were middle class, but like, you know, we weren't like, you know, um, friggin', uh, uh, what's the guy from Apple? I mean, the guy Paul, from uh, Paul, Paul McCartney. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, well, oh, sorry. Yeah, the Apple, I'm thinking of the Apple record label with the Beatles. Sorry. <laughs> right, 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 so, right, right, Steve right. Jobs. Steve well, Jobs, we're talking about. Steve Jobs. There we yeah. go. Right, yeah. right, right. No, 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 um, didn't uh, grow up in Steve Jobs' affluence. <laughs> well, neither did Steve Jobs grow up in affluence. He had to earn this stuff. Yeah. You know. yeah. Didn't tell me. Uh, you said it wasn't staged, that uh, the scuffle with the heavy oh, eyes. Yes. Yeah, no, no. That was wasn't that real staged. then? It was, that was pro real. proper anger between the both of you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, proper anger, as you say. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was improper anger, my friend. That's true. <laughs> all the others, all yeah. the others, though, were they all staged or a majority? Are they staged just to sell tickets and put bombs on? Well, seats? like nowadays, I yeah. think the vast majority of that, like you know, of that, like you know, I'm going to beat you behind, blah blah blah, of yeah. like, That's all staged <laughs> nowadays, man. Yeah. Especially in the uh, the uh, the MMA world. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, but like, you know, well, it seems arts. like it's staged. Right, exactly, right. Yeah. No, it seems like it's uh, it's staged, but like, you know, um, I would say, you know, you know, see, boxing, I, th I in my estimation, yeah. well, this, this, is, this quote is uh, attributed to uh, George Foreman, and uh, um, I'm going to steal it. And, yeah. uh, you know, don't boot me well. Okay. I'm not a plagiarizer, but like, I'm plagiarizing. Okay. Uh, George Foreman is alleged to have said that boxing yeah. is the sport that all other sports aspire to. Okay. Him, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And like, you know, uh, I think like, you know, like, you know, I respect like, you know, other martial arts, blah, blah, blah. But like, you know, yeah. uh, there's no other sport as, as, as humiliating yeah. as uh, enlightening if you yeah. manage to get past the humiliation. Yeah. There's no other sport that's as humiliating and as uh, enlightening yeah. as boxing. So like, you know, to answer your question, like, yeah, that uh, that was real. And, uh, and uh, like, you know, once again, like, you know, I'm not gonna go into the circumstances, but like, you know, uh, yeah. there are egos, um, yeah. you know, on the line here, right? And you know, I'm I meet Herbie. Yeah. I know I'm sure he has a different version because okay. we all have versions in life, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, version of the truth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is oxymoron in the damn. You know, yeah. we all have versions of the truth, which is an oxymoron in the in this goddamn yeah. self. You yeah. know, yeah. version yeah. of the truth, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, but uh, but then we you know we have to like you know, uh, as human beings, man, we can't be wrong. We can't be seen as being wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know, and what 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 like you know what being an artist and actor or writer or whatever what, like you know whatever yeah. like the past the past twenty seven years it taught me like you know that um, the brave ones uh, and the ones who are in connection with their like you know with their themselves yeah hmm. they don't judge they call like they see it. It's a sort of like unspoken that um, a boxer's not allowed to have a sensitive side. Exactly. You've got right. this warrior, this big, huge, tough, exactly. muscly bloke, and they've got to hide any sensibilities. Or... Yes, and that's all they got their facade. Yeah. It's a mask, yeah. you know, um, because like in, uh, you look at like, you know, the Mike Tyson podcast now. Yeah. And, like, you know, he's admitting some, some really highly sensitive, you know, fragile things and like you know so you have this guy here now like you know who used to be this monster yeah the baddest and man on the planet that, that's right exactly right and but like you know and he'll tell you that he wasn't that yeah you know that was the image of him but like you know, he wasn't that okay is that fed into the boxer by the trainer oh absolutely yeah by the trainer you know at some stage like well, like you know it's fed into the boxer primarily by the professional side of the uh, of game of the yeah. game, you know, yeah. because the amateurs like you know, the, you know, they kind of like you know, uh, um, uh, over the top, you know, uh, aggression is, is like you know, that's not tolerated. Yeah. Nor should it be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as in the amps, but like you know, in in the pros, like you know, mm. the the, uh, the uh, if I'm Don King or if I'm a promoter, yeah. my job is to like you know incite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because incite, like you know, when you excite, you know, uh, two boxers, uh, yeah. 
at a press conference, like, you know, yeah. it potentially can like, you know, can widen the gate. Yeah, yeah, make money. Yeah. Right. That's what it's about. Okay. Okay. So, but like, I don't, I was never like a bit, I was never a big fan of that. Like, you know, once again, like, you know, when that thing happened with me and her behind, I can, yeah. I can think of, I've had over 100 and 190 amateur fights at a, at an elite at a elite level yeah. with the Russians and the Cubans, blah blah blah, the Swedes, blah blah blah, and I've never. Of course, like you know, you're gonna have people like you know, on those uh, international trips who want to try to get in your head, but I've never like you know had the kind of uh, um, uh, experience that like uh, took place with me and Herbie High before our fight. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, we're like, uh, um, there's just like a different level of, uh, of decorum mm. in the, in the amateurs. Yeah. Yeah. At the, well, yeah. in the elite amateurs. Yeah. Yeah. No. The top level. Does that, yeah. does that make sense? Yes, it does indeed. Yeah. 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 No. Mm. And no one like, you know, and no one, you know, if, if, um, if I'm like, you know, superstar boxer A, like, you know, for this promotional company, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I say something like, you know, that's uh, that's uh, disparaging, you yeah. know, not to the boxer, but like, you know, to a whole race of people, mm. that's allowed because like, you know, that's, that's pushing the envelope and selling the game. But like, I don't know, that, yeah. that's nonsense, man. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, that's going counter, like, you know, to uh, what the sport truly, uh, in my estimation, what, what the sport truly, um, uh, uh means okay yeah yeah okay michael you know just to move on from your boxing career yeah. after that yeah. fight with, with your horrible terrible injuries you were in the coma you come out of that and then you attend northampton college was that yeah. wow was that a jump from the boxing yeah yes 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 so uh um i'll never forget this man like you know i've i've always been like you know um a massive reader Okay. And I have like, you know, books on my bookshelf. I have nothing but books on my book on my bookshelves. Yeah. All different kinds of books. Um, you know, Shakespeare and how to become a Navy SEAL and you know <laughs> Marlon Brando, you know. Have you played of, you played the Shakespeare in Roller Fellow on the stage? I, yes. You well, you know your stuff. I'm impressed. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And that was like uh that was uh you know, when I got into um acting uh uh, fairly late in life, yeah. in my late twenties, early thirties, like you know, that was one of the plays, like you know, that um, that uh, that was one of the characters that uh, I always wanted to um, to inhibit. Yeah, traditionally on the British stage, that's been a white man's play, that black yeah, up, yeah. which that's is right. yeah. you know, it's racist by itself, yeah, by definition. Yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, I don't know if it's racist. Well, I mean. I, I get what you're saying, but like, you know, I think like, you know, at that time, like, you know, there wasn't a big search for like, you know, qualified black actors. Mm, true. Yeah. You know, and you like, what we're talking like, we're talking like back in like, you know, the uh, 1500s. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 1700s. Yeah. Yeah. You know, true. Early yeah. Uh, 1920s. Yeah. There are no qualified black actors. Yeah. In, true. In, you know, there may be, but like, you know, they're not getting work. Yeah, true. There's no more of Venice around yeah, at the time. Yeah, they, they'll go, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, um, uh, I love the fact that, like, you know, although I wasn't raised in uh, uh, in England, man, I love the fact that, like, you know, I was I was born there. Yeah. Well, like, you know, Mike, like, you know, why? Like, look, that's bullshit. Mm. No, mm. it's not bullshit because, like, you know, because it's 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 been, it's not scientifically proven, but, like, you know, People who are born in, like you know, uh, in the UK, yeah, uh, they have like you know poetry, man, in their DNA, yeah, right, yeah. You know, I, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, no, I think that's where the you know the world's most famous poets. You know, you got your Wordsworth and your yeah. Keats and yeah. that long tradition yeah. of the Romantic poetry. There the we go, nineteenth exactly. century. Yeah, yeah. So I, I see exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, probably get like you know, uh, this part from the uh, the African American uh, function of or whatever, blah blah blah. But like you know, I'm yeah. messing with you. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm <laughs> That's you. good. Yeah, you got me worried. <laughs> I got you. You did. <laughs> Should have seen your face, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'll edit that. I'll cut that bit out. Well, now I edit it. No, 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 don't edit it. Now. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. No, I won't. I won't. 
Michael, move, moving on to your film career, was it the Sonny Liston role? Was that your first big role in the films, in the Will Smith yeah, Ali film? Role. That was my first, like, you know, giant thing, yeah. But Michael like, Mann people, production. Oh, man, that's my guy. Yeah? yeah. Are, you friend, are you friends with him? Is he, is he, on, is he your buddy? Oh, you know what? I wouldn't call Michael Mann my buddy, <laughs> but I would call him uh, an ally. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know? Now, the reason why I say that, because, like, you know... Uh, no one calls Michael Mann their buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. I've worked with a lot of actors like you know, who's yeah. worked with him. Like, and he, yeah. he, you know, he's like, you know, look, man, we prepared, come and set, be on time, play your goddamn lines, and, and do it different every take. Okay. Yeah. You know, that, that's Michael Mann, bro. Like, and, and I, and I, yeah. you know, I've, I've been lucky, man. Like, so uh, let me, let me just like you know, walk you through how I got from like, you know, getting knocked down into a, Six day, a four day coma, blah, 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 win the heavyweight championship, a version of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Read, you know, yeah, sure. so, yeah. you know, you know. Um, uh, so, um, get, uh, you know, as you mentioned, um, I retired from boxing, uh, enrolled in this uh, community college in Pennsylvania, where I had a home at the time. Um, and uh, signed up as a uh, as a uh, radio production and radio production and TV uh, student. You know, um, as an elective, I took an acting class yeah. And, yeah. and met this genius, uh, uh, brilliant, eccentric. Well, to me, it was eccentric uh, professor. Professor Norman Robbins. As a matter of fact, all like, you know, brilliant acting coaches, they're either eccentric or hardcore driven to the road. Yeah, yeah. You know, remind me to tell you like, you know, uh, about my uh, acting coach uh, in LA, Rick, El Rick Edelstein. Okay, yeah. Like, you know, genius guy. So, so I run into, um, well, I didn't run into, when I um, enlisted in, the, in this college in, uh, in, uh, in in Pennsylvania, yeah. North Hampton, Northampton Community College, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, went, I took an acting class uh, taught by this professor, and you know, the majority of the kids there were like you know, they were like 19, 17 years old, mm -hmm. and what this was, what this professor was saying, like you know, in the acting class, you know, some people could sit in an acting class. And what the professor or the instructor is saying, it's really far out, man. Yeah. It is. It's far out. Yeah. Uh, but I got it. I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And uh, he assigned me to do a role. Or to, he assigned me to do a scene with a, um, a girl who was uh, uh, an exchange student from, I think, uh, maybe Germany. Okay. Or yeah. Austria. And she spoke English. Yeah. Yeah. She, like, yeah. she, she was uh, English speaking. And we did this role of um, uh, this play by Herman, uh, by Hemingway's, um, I forget the name of the play. But, you know, we did this scene and like, you know, and we nailed it. Yeah. And the, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, professor like was like, you know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good. Yeah, he, 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 you know, he didn't suck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because um, um, I think, I think, I think like, you know, once I began acting like, you know, on a level that was like, you know, um, competitive and challenging to a degree, yeah. Yeah. I got to understand like, you know, this is just like boxing. Yeah. Only like, you know, I'm wearing clothes. Because you're, if you're in a scene with a character, say if I'm dealing with Iago, yeah. uh, post like, you know, um, uh, his betrayal of me, yeah. I love him. Yeah. Post, you know, betrayal of me. Yeah. Like, what, what, well, as a matter of fact, um, I don't find out, I don't think Othello finds out that Iago had gave him the shaft until like, you know, very later in the yeah. The plane. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would love you. So, so I would love Yago mm. up until you know I get the word that like you know he shafted me. Yeah. yeah. What's my point? Like, you know, my point is like you know boxing. You know, is 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 
It's the same way. You're going to yeah. love people yeah. in the sport, yeah. and you're going to despise people in the sport. Yeah. And it's your job to, like, you know, despise your quote unquote opponent until you get out of the ring. And some people still carry that nonsense beyond that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Like, well, like, you know, like, I'm, and I'm saying, like, you know, uh, uh, like Joe Fraser, for instance. Hmm. You know, he he despised Muhammad Ali, like, you know, for the rest of his life. Yeah. Because Muhammad, yeah. like, you know, you know, shot him down with, like, you know, with the uh, 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 slangs of uh, saying he was an Uncle Tom and blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. Yeah. And he was, like, unintelligent. Yeah. And you know what? Honestly, you know, as if you saw the uh, Muhammad Ali uh, docu- documentary uh, uh, with Ken Burns, man, like, you know, uh, I... Uh, I uh, say that, like you know, that 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 like that um you know Joe, yeah, mm. I get it. If, yeah. if I'm Joe, like you know, yeah. I hope yeah. that kind of resentment. Okay, yeah. 